Blog Talk Radio. Hello? Ah, perfect time. Hello. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> What oh, that's crazy as sin right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, today is September 24th, 2017, and apparently school is in. <laughs> 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 Hey, that actually sounded good. Yeah, I have no preps with that one. Okay. Um, yeah, All we right. did a good job with that one right there. That was clean. In this episode right. 20. Episode 20. Is- <laughs> Woo, is it episode 20? Is it really? I think so. I think so, yeah. Oh, wow. That's kind of a milestone for people yes, who don't who don't really know what we're doing. So... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Schools in Podcast. I am Mitch, and I am joined um, once again, as I always am, by my two illustrious co-hosts. Um, the had trouble making his list, Ant. Oh yeah, I always have trouble with these lists. What's up? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> and the I changed somebody on my list at the last minute, Aaron. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> Hello. So, <laughs> so today we have a list show, and as we sometimes do at the end of the month. And in the spirit of our early show this month, our earlier show we did this month called the Rappers Who Sing, Singers Who mm-hmm. Rap, Sing Songy mm-hmm. Rapper Show. Today is the favorite Rappers Who Sing, Singers Who Rap, Sing Songy Rapper Show. So. Let's go round robin like we do, and we'll start with number five on everybody's list. Let's start with Aaron this time. Aaron, who's your number five? Um, number five is um J Cole. Yeah. All right. Okay. J yep. Cole. Yeah. <laughs> um, I um, put him as number five. I put mm-hmm. him as number five because um, you know, he he definitely like you know one of my favorites as far as like people that's doing it right now. Um. Mm-hmm. That's in that realm of like you know back and forth with the singing, uh, one minute and rapping rapping the next. So mm-hmm, and, and, mm-hmm. and and he could definitely spit you know regardless of how people feel about you know him overall as yeah like, uh, like being like I, boring. Yeah, right, like I like I fold my laundry to this shit. Right, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I like this. I like that song by the way. <laughs> You know what though? Everybody is always talking shit about J. Cole. Like that's the kind of shit you like Charlemagne the guy was always saying, like uh-huh. that's the shit you fold your laundry and, and fucking do your dishes to and crap. Clean the house like, too. Clean the house. Music too. for music for housekeepers. What the fuck is wrong with that? Back in the day your mom threw on her damn Stevie Wonder <laughs> and cleaned the whole fucking house. And what's what's the point? Yeah. You have but you know music and you had a clean house. What's the problem? <laughs> yeah, what's funny is um I was like I had to I had to like um go back and forth between him and Big Crit because I realized that um Big Crit is one of those artists that does that too. I thought about him. He, that's I true. About him and Crit on my list too, but I, I held him off. Yeah. Why? Why? Ant? Cause he he I don't think he does it enough. You know. Okay. That's legit. Same, same reason I didn't put like uh, Fonte or. Uh, the other guy I was talking about, I forgot his name at the moment. Well, I was okay. thinking about Fonte too because, like, Fonte is one of those artists I think that, like, he separates it. Like, he'll do, like, an album where, you know what I'm right. saying, he's, where he's spitting, and then it's like the Foreign Exchange project where, you know what I'm saying, he, he's singing more. Or so, or like, um, with Eric Ro- that album he did with Eric Roberson, where it's like, you know, <laughs> he, like, a little bit back and forth. Right. Know? So, it just depends on what, what realm he in at the time, I guess. It was like kind of like more like childish, where he's he's kind of he's rapping and spitting, mm-hmm. and then he's like then he's 
singing like a whole like like um what's oh my god what's the name of his last project again which he claims is going to be his last project that was weekend. Weekend. no my um, it's called awake my love awake my love i think awake yeah. my love that's like there was no fitting on that album it was just all singing right now in reverse though well never mind that's a different episode never mind <laughs> <laughs> all right and number five Originally, I had Cole too, but I'm gonna change mm-hmm. that and say um, Isaiah Rashad. Isaiah okay. Rashad is is um, for those who don't know, he's a member of TDE. Um, so far to my knowledge, he got like two projects: the one John Sylvia demo he put out like two years ago, and then the Sun's Tyree, which just came out last year. And he's definitely like in the same vein as a Chance or a Vic Mensa or somebody like that. Uh-huh. I mean, do you think he's one to watch? Like, why? Like, why is he? Yeah. Like, where's his receipt he, at? He, he's definitely one to watch. I enjoyed the Sun's tirade. I could put the Sun's tirade on and bump it. Mm-hmm. And it's not like, just like, he's not like straight singing. You know, he's kind of got that new school vibe to it. Almost borderline mumble rap sound to it. Oh, no. Why did you bring that? Almost up? borderline mumble, mumble rap sound to it. Yeah. But it's actually, it's actually <laughs> good, though. Yeah, because, I mean, like, like the ones you just named, and even Cole himself, like, they're kind of on the, they're on the, they're on the stellar end of what, you, you know, what, what that, what this new trend is. It's like, yeah, I'd go as far to call more them more better, well, m- much more of a better representation creatively as well, too. Like, they actually have creative visions, and they see they see visions for their artistry, which is something very different than right. somebody who's just throwing some trash against the wall like a fucking spaghetti, <laughs> a handful of spaghetti is even stick. <laughs> like, nice. Hoping it stick. Yeah. Hoping that shit stick up. Yeah, yeah I, I can see, I can see that artistry in his work too. Especially hearing him talk about how um, Top almost kicked him out because he was bullshitting and he was like dealing with his drug problem and shit like that. Yeah. So he had to get his shit together and, you know, basically lock himself in the studio. Well, that's actually, that's really good. At least, you know, mm-hmm. you got it, you know, you got an issue and you need to work it out. So many people got drug problems, man. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> these days. Anyway, so num- my number five is, 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 of course, you know, more old schoolish because I'm the, I'm the old, I'm the resident old head on the show. So that's fine. <laughs> um, my number five is Missy Elliott. Oh, yeah. And it's because Missy Elliott, well, Missy Elliott actually started out, for those who don't know, in a collective um, spearheaded by Devontae Swing, the producer of Jodeci and the producer of so many, many, many things and so many artists. Um, Devontae Swing had a collective called The Basement. And that's where Missy Elliott and... Timberland were and Stevie J and um, Static from the group Player that people probably know as the dude who was singing with Lil Wayne on Lollipop, who unfortunately passed away. Mm. Genuine was also in that collective. Tweet was in that group. He was in a group with with the collective, but Missy was in a group known as Sister, and she was actually singing. She was wow. not yeah. rapping at all. That's Somehow I remembered it. The R and B group. Yeah. And the and the the song that that was out was called um Brand New, which is my shit. Love that song. <laughs> and so um the collective dissolved. I mean it didn't so much dissolve as it imploded. <laughs> that there was a lot of controversy around that shit too. Um a lot of things happened that didn't go down so well. But um, Timbaland Magoo and Genuine and Missy and everybody who was famous and those who weren't famous, they broke out. Some folks kind of hung out with Devontae. Like, Static kind of still hung out with Devontae. And, like, they were still cool and they still made music and stuff together. But Missy bounced early on. Of course, Stevie J says he bounced before everybody did, but whatever. Um, and Missy then went with Timberland and they started producing. So her first album... She was she was spinning. She was no longer singing. 
and everybody was kind of thrown like what the, what what's going on you know she's she's sitting on hills like lauren with a big bubble suit on it's that they feel full of air at the gas station which is you know because like back in the day when they used to do your video Mm -hmm. and mtv used to they would do like a build-up they would do like a whole like making your video type of so you got to watch how people's videos got made in the 90s and that was like a big deal because everybody was making these movie like you know productions of their videos so like you got to watch missy elliott be filled up with with air at the at the gar at the um at the gas station like it was it was the thing you never saw before <laughs> and then she came out on the scene and she just blew the fuck up like that fucking garbage can or that that uh, fucking trash can uh suit she was wearing in that video she was singing she was rapping she was you know she was all over the place and at first um you know I kind of was reserved with it but because i mean her her rhyming wasn't always the best but as aaron has said before this is kind of a throwback to the early days of party Mm -hmm. hip-hop and she's and she's always always paid to the early mcs and always been respectful of the 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 culture Mm -hmm. and so i kind of pulled back on my criticism criticism of her because she's dope she you still know, um, for the culture. She still she still puts the includes b boys up. Her, uh, her, she does. Uh, She's still doing. Yeah. Um and, and and she always made sure they were dancers. She always made. She's entertaining as fuck. She always makes sure that that she she reps hip hop and everything that she does. But she also can sing and she can genuinely sing. She doesn't need any. There's there's there's, there's no one on my list that auto tune. She doesn't need the auto tune. She can sing. Like, you know, like like fucking legit sing. She was the lead singer of Sisters, too. She was the lead singer. So um kudos props to, to Missy. Yeah, props to Missy. Alright, number four, Aaron. Number four, number four for me is Gonna have to be You know what fuck it. I'm going with Kid Cuddy. <laughs> oh man Kid Why the Cuddy suspense? is like on my list too <laughs> That sounded like it was a tough call. It it was. It was <laughs> What happened? What's wrong with Cuddy? Um wrong with him? Nah it's it's nothing it's nothing really wrong with him but like um it's it's more so just you know what i'm saying like you know he not he not he not really consistent enough for me like he don't have a lot of stuff that i like but like as i told people before like i really love when i heard men on the moon and and me yeah. and mitchell was talking me and mitchell was talking about his kick um, yeah mm-hmm. that mixtape was dope man it was and, um, dope as fuck and the re- the reason um he was on my list is because like um when I first when I first heard Kid Cudi, just like a lot of um people that uh first heard him, I don't know if people were like listening to him before then, but um I first heard uh what's the song? Uh Day and Night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And when when that came out around that around that time, like it was a lot of people that was like, you know, that I guess you would consider like proteges of Kanye coming out like Lupe and them. Yep. And uh when I heard that song on the radio, it was just like, whoa. Like, I instantly liked it, and I was like, damn, that, like, yeah. it's not sounding, it didn't sound like nothing else on the radio at the time. Yep. I just knew that. Yep. I, I knew that. I knew that he was bringing something that um, that I wanted to hear. I just didn't expect it to sound like, you know, what Man on the Moon was. And it was, it was kind of conflicting, because when I first heard it, I was like, I love this junk, but I don't know if I want to call it a rap album. It was one of those yep. type of situations. Same thing I, said. <laughs> Same thing I was and, saying, um, too. Yeah, I, I, didn't, and, I didn't have that first impression. Yeah. Oh, I definitely did. I was like, and I, well, on I was tired of hearing day and really. night. I was tired of hearing day and night. That's all I was man, hearing. Everywhere. Day and night, day and night was my shit, man. Yeah, yeah. Kid <laughs> Cudi is my number three on my list. So, Aaron, oh, wow. I have, yeah, mm-hmm. That's pretty high. 
Well, there's a reason why he's up there, and and okay. I'll 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 you know I'll go back to that when I explain my number four, and then I'll go to my number three. So, and what's your number four? Well, um, I should say I switched uh, Isaiah Rashad and Cole around. I moved Cole up because. I don't hate the guy. <laughs> oh jeez. I just can't always I can't always listen to him. What is with Cole? What's what everybody's shit with Cole? I love Cole. He didn't make my list, but he he would have been like number six. I, I like him. I like him. He's a good rap he he raps very well. He's nice. He does. And he he earned that reputation as one of the top rappers out right now. I'll he just puts everybody to sleep for some reason. He's boring I don't know. as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Like, my, I don't have that problem with uh, Born Center, though. Like, I love Born Center. But everything else is just snoozeville to me. It's, just, it's music to sleep by? Is that what you're telling me? Basically, it's like lullaby rap. Poor and I don't Jake know Cole. what it is. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> so, sums I it up love in the sound. Cole. I love I Cole. He's great. He's cool. I, yeah, props to him. But I just can't listen to him all the time. Well, not all the time. I mean, it's like trying to play John Legend all the time. If you play John Legend when you're driving like long distances, <laughs> you crash into a, you careen into a, <laughs> to a fucking tree. I get tired <laughs> of John Legend after a while too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. So my number four is Chance the Rapper. I okay. wanted to round my list out with some like some kind of new and kind of old schoolish, like you know, a lot of different people. And I feel like Chance is kind of the he's kind of like the king of the of that that sing songy thing that's happening right now. And again, <laughs> it's it's done extremely creatively. It's done at a high level, so I can respect that. Yeah. Like. Uh, I don't know if I would call him a rapper. Like that 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 term is is always loose. I mean, he does spit on some things. Right. He spits on some things, but the rest of it like what same drugs and um oh, what's the other song. The other song he had like he's 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 singing, but he can sing. Yeah. I was listening to that John the other day. I like same drugs. Yeah. I just, Chance, you know, I haven't decided and, if I like Chance or not yet. I like, like other shit about him too, and and I think that I think if if right now if you're gonna do something and you're gonna follow somebody doing something revolutionary, it should be him. Like I was more focused. Is it a good starting point? Yeah, start moving in his direction, doing the kind of things he's doing to kind of change some of the sh- fucking narrative that's out there. I can agree. Yeah. With that. Yeah, that's kind. That's kind of yeah, but that's kind of what I was saying about Kid Cudi. Like when I first heard him, I yeah, I, yep. I felt that it was just like it was just like all right, there's something different. I knew I liked it. I just didn't know. You know what I'm saying? It was like a conflicting kind of thing because it's like you know, <laughs> it's like it's, it's like. Just, but I mean, are you singing? What are you doing, dude? <laughs> right, exactly. It was one of those things. And and you know what though, Chancellor, and um, Mr. Miss Cudi. Both, like you can't, you can't necessarily just say they're singing their rap lyrics either. They, mm. they have there's depth sure. and there's nuance and there's there's a lot of different topics that they talk about. They talk about death and life and drugs and 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 depression and, and they like they're running the gamut. They're not just grabbing the mic talking about. I'ma shoot you in the head and fuck your sister. Like it's not. You know. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> oh man, I'm throwing those ideas out there like that. Somebody gonna hear that and use that. Oh, somebody's. Like- <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Yo. 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 Round of applause. Round of applause. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> So sorry, I don't know what the hell is wrong with this. Shit. Like, are we gonna have to? I'm gonna have to fucking restart the computer every damn week, every before I get on and shit. What is this cut out on you? Did the light go yeah. off? Yeah, it just cut out. No, the light's on. The whole time my shit's on, but it just it, it cut out. 
It shouldn't just cut out just right in the middle like that. It shouldn't. All right, so what um what number are we on now? <laughs> <laughs> we was up to uh, we just did four, right? Or we did three? No, we did four. Okay. We on three. We on three now. All right. Yeah. So uh, what's your number three, Aaron? I'm sorry. My number three is Nate Diggity Dog. Interesting. What? <laughs> Interesting. Well, okay. Nate Dogg is, is Nate Dogg is a um is a Nate, singer. I don't know if he ever really rapped though. Did he ever rap? Nate, Nate Dogg in the But he got room. but he got like rap he got rappy type lyrics though. He fall into that that uh He does sing rap lyrics. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> so and and he's like Arguably one of the greatest hip hop hook singers of all yep, time. Yep. It's, yeah. always, it's, it's always a good feeling when um, Nate Dog show up when you're hooking all that, man. Even when he get ready to say argument. something niggerish as hell, which he normally does. <laughs> 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 when I was in um, Los Angeles, they were, and I was watching that documentary on G Funk. Oh. Like they really, really talked about Nate Dogg a lot and how integral he was to G because he was. He was. Why do y'all think he didn't do well in terms of sales? Because who? No, because of what Aaron just said. He sang rap lyrics. You don't really <laughs> want to hear all oh, album full of that. But, I mean, like his features was always like hits, but his own album. Be because he sang rap lyrics. <laughs> but 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 I think you know what I think that is. I think it's because it's like um it's the same way like in movies like when people typecast it. So like when yeah. when you when, when you known for being like you know that guy that you know sings hooks and you know like you singing rap lyrics and stuff like that. Like mm -hmm. people don't you know what I'm saying people. It's harder for them to take you outside of your element, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times it's harder to sell that That's other true. part of you. Yeah. So the what same thing happened to me with saying? MOP. Um, like like more recently. I mean everybody loves it ain't no fun. That's one of my uh, that, that's, <laughs> and, and that's that definitely a go to. That, that's the most yeah. niggerish one of all. Yeah, yeah. I love I love regulate. But everybody loves ain't no fun and regulate, yeah. Oh I yeah, regulate. Regulate, regulate one You know what? Fun. What which one came with my favorite? It's like a guilty fucking play. What? Is um fucking uh oh the one that y'all don't like? Well, me and Aunt <laughs> like them. I don't think you like them. Um, fabulous. Oh. I can't deny it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yo, deny it. I'm a right. fucking rider. You don't want to fuck with. Like, that shit is catchy as fuck. That's all he did with Kiss. Time's up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the John, yeah, too. That around, it, around, it, around that time, he was doing a lot of Johns. That was 04. Yeah. He was doing Johns with uh, Kiss. He got he the John on, on my, 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 my Beast American Nightmare. Now, Kiss wrapped his ass off on that John, right? Call, obviously. Kiss wrapped his yeah. ass off on that John, right? But yeah. my favorite, my favorite part of the song is the hook. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because that, if, you, that, it, if you got Nate Dog on your hook, Nate Dog now becomes the thing that people grab. They, they gravitate to the reason yeah. why you like the song in the first place. Pretty much, yeah. Like you like everybody loves Nate Dog part to regulate. Like you, they sing the shit out of that that <laughs> this part to regulate. What's the uh, what's the joint on uh, what's the joint on Chronic two thousand one? Uh, with the uh, oh, oh my god, so the bad lady, next, the bad next lady episode, girl. though, next episode is like fucking uh -huh. epic. No, no, not next episode. The, um, I know what bag. song you're talking about, it's, oh, it's yeah. the one's bag lady, but yeah, yeah, like, yeah, that one was cool too. But I'm just saying, like, people, like, there are people who are younger than you guys right now who, if next episode came on, they would be like, hold up, Wait. right. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody and their mom know that job. Everybody knows that shit. And their mom. And and and, and their grandma, I think. This is scary. <laughs> That's actually a, a fucking rap, a, a, a like a, a a weird rap anthem, which like we haven't gotten to that show, but that's that's, that's down the pipe. But that's, oh yeah, I'm working on my. I'm, 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 I'm working on my. Hard, but... I'm working on my anthem list. I just put something I else on here the other day. 
ain't gonna deal with that. That there's way too much that's, shit that's out there. That's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot. I might have to ban it? a list of ten songs for that shit. Oh man, make it even harder. There's too many songs that that are just really fuck it. Like I don't even know how we would even put them on a list. Mm-hmm. Everybody would have the same fucking list if we. I don't know. And just keeping it to five. Yeah, that's the other thing. Keeping it to five is, is gonna be ugly. So, um, what's your number three, Ant? I'm going with my man speech from Arrested Development. Okay. Only because I recently well when I say recently, I mean like in the past year. I recently found out they were still active. <laughs> I don't know why you didn't know that. I didn't know that. I just never put, <laughs> even looked to see if the rest of the development was still putting out music. You don't want that to send me. You don't want to send me that last video though. That video you said they. Um, yeah, that wasn't even. Out. That wasn't even the last one. <laughs> yeah, that was. But that was more updated though. That one, right? He got. He got newer. They got newer John. Yeah, they still they out there. Couple, they got a couple projects floating around out there, and they're all like great. Like, yeah, he, he's still. He's you still know still what? Rapping you know that, <laughs> now that I'm but, older, I, is it is it bad that I find speech a tad bit pretentious? Now that I'm older, it's a little bit. The the whole that whole conscious I don't know if he likes that label I don't really care but that whole conscious thing it does wear down on people especially when you've been doing it as long as speech been doing it. I just I de- I mean Tennessee was fucking like that that was. That was kind of the beginning of of this. Wait shit. a second. Yeah. I don't know. He huh? still, still, still raps his ass off though. <laughs> he does. He does. It was, it was. I don't know what documentary I was watching, but um, it's a lot of artists that was like kind of conflicted with them when they came out. Yeah. <laughs> they were just like, um, like, okay. uh, what are you doing right now? <laughs> yeah. <it's> right. Like, <laughs> <what are you? laughs> Yeah. Because he was sick. Because Tennessee is all. And there is no. There's a very short section of the song at the end where he's actually rapping. And you got to figure that was the that was the early '90s. So this, people uh-huh. were way touchier about that kind of shit then. It was like, dude, what are you doing? So would you say he was ahead of his time? <laughs> well, like I said, he's the fucking. He's like you know, he's like the prototype of what we're talking about. Like he was, yeah. you know, he came before Bone Thugs. We said yeah, that yeah. like two weeks ago. Like he came before Bone Thugs doing that shit. But was he like he wasn't really like singing like no hardcore rap lyrics though? He wasn't. Yeah, no, but no, but, no. but 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 they were still considered a hip hop group, and he was singing. A lot of that. A lot of that kept me from really getting into them around the first time. Yeah. But looking back, going back and listening to other stuff. And, and I now remember, we're talking about, remember how we talked about the fucking Legend Show? Like, these are the days that, that people were like backlashing with, you know, PM Dawn set a drift on memory bliss type shit. They didn't they I know, ain't that crazy? Ain't that crazy? <laughs> they, were like, yeah. they were like, what is this shit? Like, this ain't like you know, it was that, like, yo, boy, Marky, what the fuck you doing with my hip hop type shit? <laughs> <laughs> You know, so like it, it so wasn't what's the so part? easy. What's the hammer part? What? I could I'm, I couldn't put my finger. Oh, on the hammer. The, yeah, the part you're talking about, hammer. Yeah. I'm saying, what's that hammer part? Why didn't he get the same? Oh, what's that hammer you know? part? Because the shit, because it was fucking good. <laughs> when your shit is 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 good, when you have something and the shit is like the same thing in Bone Thugs. That shit yeah. is just, it transcends shit. Like you can't deny it as our as our boy Nate Dog would tell us. You can't I, deny I, it. I, 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 there. <laughs> <laughs> if it's good, it's it just transcends shit and it's just gonna stick. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah it's like we talked about before. Sometimes it just it just gotta have that hip hop stamp of approval. Yep. So really quickly, my number three is Kid Cudi, and I'm go- I'm not gonna say exactly what Aaron said. I'm- what I'm gonna say is this: Chance was my number four, and a- I'm gonna piggyback on what Aaron said. The reason why Cudi is my number three is because Cudi 
became the prototype. Cutting is the prototype for all the shit that you're seeing right now. Like yep. he's Chance is prototype. Like he's like all these fucking Travis Scott and all these all these fucking bastards you, out here that are doing this low level bullshit. Kid Cuddy was was doing this shit like like Aaron said, man on the moon. Um, when you heard when you heard day and night and when you heard make her say he like that he wasn't rapping he was singing like through the you know through his whole thing he sang all the way sang and rapped his way through a kid named Cuddy like he right. but but it was it was done at a very very high creative level he right takes and it's done seriously and it's done in my opinion it's done in a way where it's not you know you're not annoyed by the whole thing like a lot of right. times you hear you hear people that's trying to force it on you a lot of times and like um mm-hmm. when i listen when i listen to kid cuddy it's not a lot of times you just like you know forget that he's you know what i'm saying uh kind of one foot in one foot out of the uh, hip-hop realm so you do um, you, you just kind of forget it's just like you know you're just listening to it and it's like okay i can i can get with it so you know what kid cuddy is kid cuddy is what you would call like back in the day, but like now, what you would call he's he's like he's very much again like Mr. Glover. <laughs> like that's his prototype. He's what you would call a triple threat. He can rap, he can sing, he can act. So they have they're like multi you know multi talented. They're multi uh, multi um, faceted in their talent, and they want to display all of them. So they want you to see everything. You know, well, wouldn't you say that's blurring lines too? Not really. Again, it depends on how well you do it. Like Lauren, right. who is who is banned from our list, <laughs> and we'll talk about that later. <laughs> if you are able to do it to an extremely high level, and you are able to maintain your, you know, your high levels of creativity, you shouldn't have a problem out there. And I would never call Kid Cudi pastiche. Uh-huh. Like he, Kid Cudi is, is is himself. He's very much himself. Yeah, you know, yeah, he kind of, yeah, he kind of baby Kanye. I don't like people have called him baby Kanye. I don't, and I don't, I don't. Kanye sings here and there, and like sings a hook. Kanye will sing his hook, but I mean, people See, but, been doing that for years. But when I say when I say like baby Kanye, I'm talking about like certain influences. I'm not talking mm-hmm. about. Right. Whether he whether he does this that Kanye does or whether he does that that Kanye right. does, it's certain it's certain influences that I see with a lot of these new cats, and I'm just like, okay, I see I see a little bit of your your Kanye influences showing that kind of thing. That's well, what I'm talking you, about. Not you. I was just saying people. Definitely not you saying that, but I've heard people say that they feel like Kid Cudi is a baby Kanye, and I don't see that. Hmm. Not really. For some for some strange reason, Kid Cudi makes me want to listen to Feral much. What? Yeah, I know. It's very strange. <laughs> That's but every, strange. Like, what the hell? He does. He makes me want to listen to Carol much. Really? Especially that um, especially that PTSD John. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm. I need to think about that for a second. I don't know. I don't know why that would be. <laughs> that. <laughs> it, you know what's funny? You know what's funny about that? Because like Feral much is like the other extreme, and Anthony. No, I don't even mess with Feral much that much. Really? I don't why. I don't yeah, I don't why really. I don't, why are you not sound like a crazy person today? You don't listen. You don't fuck <laughs> with Pharaoh Munch, and this one over here thinks Kid Cudi leads him to Pharaoh Munch. Like this is weird. This conversation took a turn. It, it, does, it <laughs> does. I can't explain why. It's, just it's like, a damn category. It makes everybody turn around. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, so um, let's go. Let's go to lunch. For a second, and um, so, so let's it's ever been, it's ever been. let's do lunch real, real quickly because there's not a lot to say about this except for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's that. There's that. What you just said. <laughs> <laughs> and who's who's out to lunch today? Any number of artists or, uh, God, why did I say artists? Any number of person or performer who uses the tactic of auto-tune. Oh, 
to the point of abuse. <laughs> and you know what? I'm going to crown thee, T Pain. It's your fucking fault. Okay. <laughs> do we think? Do we think T Pain regrets it? You know what? I think who was it? T Pain said in an interview one time that somebody told him T Pain. Cut this fucking auto tune out. You can fucking sing. What are you doing? And then he stopped using it. But it was just, just too fucking late. Everybody too late. started picking, picking it up and using it. Right. I think I, I think I might I think I might have appreciated it more if he just like you know because you know how some artists they use like like a hook to pull you in. Like he might have did the yeah. auto tune thing with like one or two songs and then everybody would have hopped on the bandwagon and then you know he gave you like what he really about. You know what my issue came. is? Everybody who keeps comparing auto tune to um, the vocal order, yeah, no, oh. they're very, very different tools. And you like the vocal order is not going to correct your vocals. You have to be able to sing for the vocal order to work right <laughs> and for it to come through. Like auto tune corrects your bullshit. The vocal order is just going to make you sound like a computer. Really. Okay. Shout out to fucking Roger Troutman. May he rest in peace. Um, yeah, don't, don't, don't fucking desecrate the member, um, memory of Roger Troutman by they, comparing they all of to that shit. No, they tried fuck, it. Fuck it. <laughs> they tried it. Nope. Go ahead, Aaron. What you saying? No, I was going to say, like, people, um, it's it's the technology we got to work with now like people overuse a lot of these um plugins that we got like auto tune yeah. is one of them re reverb is one of them the fucking trap heads that we hate so much is another one like they they uh, overuse wow. a lot of this stuff there's ways to do it without abusing it though well you know what we're talking about people who abuse drugs they abuse everything at this point <laughs> So who the who the, who y'all think the worst offenders are as far as auto tune goes? Future. <laughs> he, really he, is, he really is. He really is. Did y'all see that? Rap? He can't even he, rap without auto tune. Yeah, they was like, "This is what he sound like without auto tune," and that shit was horrible. It was like it was hot. Wait, bro, no, I didn't see that. <laughs> didn't are you serious? That. No, I didn't see that. That shit is hot garbage. What was this? <laughs> oh, Lordy, have mercy. I I'm mean, I'm a, I'm singing a when you can't even rap without auto tune. That's something. Like, dude, that's your craft. If you're a rapper, that's your fucking craft. What are you doing? I want to see what he did with the dungeon family. No, you don't. Yes, I. I want to see why he was dungeon family worthy. I guarantee you, you're not seeing it. I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm saying I guarantee you, you go down there and try to see it, and you still won't fucking see it. Ah, oh, man. Unless he's just ultra pandering, and you don't actually hear the shit he can really do because it's not gonna sell. That's yeah, stupid. I wouldn't. Fuck. I wouldn't put it past him. I wouldn't either. Who else um, abuses auto tune worse than? Anybody worse? in worse the future? Worse? <laughs> uh, that's, that's a bold. Anthony, Anthony boy Jeremiah be abusing that John. Uh, I'm a boy. I'm a boy. I don't uh, know if that's worse than future though, Aaron. Nah, he actually sound better than future. I can't front. Yeah, he has, he has a good work out. Somebody there. right now who who, <laughs> were, who okay um okay Uzi maybe. Um, a, Again, I say black. Is he using <laughs> auto tune? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I should hope he doesn't sound like he that. Definitely, he, def <laughs> he definitely using on that one song. I don't know if he uses it on everything though. He just trash. Was it like Ray Trimmer? Like a lot of these new, all these new dudes, I think are all auto tuned. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, I think yeah. that. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think yeah. that's safe to say. I still haven't listened to Twenty One Savage, so I can't say about him. I think Twenty One Savage is also auto tuned. For no reason at all. Like I listened to that album. I listened to that album twice, <laughs> and like I'm just like, what the Poor fuck thing. is the, like? What's the point? <laughs> it's the aesthetic. Like, at this point, I think it's the aesthetic of the that auto tune sound. So well, let me I was just, just gonna say, say that, that like the time let, me, the let me let me try to top future. Okay. 
Lil Wayne. You auto tune bastard, you. Is he still oh, doing yeah. it? Is he still doing it? Oh yeah, he definitely doing it. I'm gonna give it to him because he started because he because right after T Pain, he was the one who was like, oh, let me pick up this auto tune. <laughs> <laughs> and then that became like this fucking trend that like they're all like they're all baby all of trap dudes are like and like the ones that use all that auto tune are like baby Lil Wayne. Mm-hmm. Like that's their that's their prototype for for using that shit. I think that's too far. That's a that's, see, that's another reason why I can't consider a lot of the stuff that people call trap music like trap music either. Like I said, <laughs> like. The farthest, the farthest I go with that is Jeezy and Ti. But that's and everybody. Trap. See, but that's what I'm saying. Like everybody else like, is just like, like Gucci they, man, turned it, Gucci they turned it into but, something else. You know, well, they did because we all who have brains know that trap just means drugs. It means <laughs> right, <drugs>. exactly. That's <laughs> it. But it they don't mean, don't, it don't mean you doing the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Who Chain said, if you ain't from Atlanta, it's not trap music. No, stop. See, see that's the dumb shit. It is that's, the dumb shit because, I mean, if you aren't from New York, is it is it is it hip hop? That's dumb. I, looking at it now, I want to say no. <laughs> <laughs> see, but that's see that's even that's bad too because you got people um that's from New York that's not even you know what I'm saying doing what we would consider hip hop so. Now, yeah. Well, yeah. But I'm saying, Come like, on, that's man. where it fucking originated. It's like, <laughs> it's like, I mean, if you are from New York, are you making, you know, authentic hip hop? Like, we can take it all the way the fuck back to that to that base level. So that's a dumb, that's a dumb association. It's not. That doesn't work. <laughs> I'm but just, that's, that's but uh, they they've turned <laughs> they they've taken trap from being just. Um, the content, like what you're flowing about, and turned it into an aesthetic. So, trap became a whole, like just like trill, like here, like in Chicago, or like like drill yeah. music and trill. Trap 2.0. Right, right. It's like you know we take that whole thing and make it a whole other aesthetic. Um, it's not kin to the original trap music really that much. Because, like, it's not Jeezy, it's not Gucci Mane, it's not it's not, um, it's not it's, it's not even fucking Ricky Rose. It's not it's, it's like fucking none of those <laughs> Right. <things>. right. <laughs> <laughs> it's his own it's his own other fucking entity. It's, you know, I'll take Rick Ross and that's a bold fucking statement coming from me. Oh, really? Yeah, so I'm, I'm not even. Know. I'm not even. I'm not even mad at that statement. Like, it's that bad. It's that bad. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It really is. But um, so yeah, I think, I think auto tune is the devil. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be glad when that shit is. I mean, Jay Z was trying to predict the death of it. Did it work? No. We've seen a resurgence recently. Um, recently? Re- recently in our terms. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I suppose so. Recently. Well, you know what, what, though? So, I'm gonna pull back. Okay, so, like, let's just say somebody like, um... And, and he's from Atlanta, um... And, like, you don't even hear his name now anymore, but, um... Uh, what's the name? He wasn't auto-tuned. And he was, like, really spitting track stuff. Um... Like, 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 more in the vein of like two chains. Um, what's his name? Um, you know, Pop the Molly, I'm sweating. Woo! Oh, oh, that, oh that dude, yeah. Trinidad um, James. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's trap. Whatever happened to Trinidad? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah, do you really want to? I mean, I what happens to him one. is the same thing that happened to fucking Fetty Wap. Like, he's just. He ain't, because, use a, he, ain't use, he ain't use enough auto tune. No. <laughs> 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 yo, real rap. Right. Yo, to him, you know, it's it's like you aren't pop. Like, I mean, what's last time you fucking heard somebody talk about Fetty Wap? Yeah. yeah, exactly. We're living in that kind of era where you out, you hot for a second, and then you're gone. Mm-hmm. 
but it, it been like it actually been like that for a while like we had a we had a whole string of them we were talking about before like uh early 2000s jayquan uh young bird um you uh, said uh, was, young bird though yeah. you say mims mims it was a, it was oh a few of them it was a few of them like it, it's been like it's been like that it's been like that since the early 2000s like we had we yeah, had people just yeah. come come for a second i thought rick ross was gonna be one of them people i was really hoping he was i'm like i assume maybe. everybody is like wrong. you thought I assume everybody come is. out um like like party like a rock star totally do and then like yeah disappear. yeah yeah, that person your name. <laughs> that person's name. You know who I wish had a hung around? And he wasn't auto tuned either. Just because that shit actually it was so bad though, but it just made me fucking laugh. Mike Jones. Mike Jones. Yo, you know yo, you know what's funny? <laughs> what's funny is like, yo, I was listening to Mike Jones recently and I was like, yo, this boy kinda funny. He funny as shit. Like I, I was kinda I was kinda digging this song. Um I can't even remember how it go. Uh, uh, the the one that was back then, back then didn't want me that one. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I was like, yeah. but, I, mean, I was like, yo, like that, like um, oh my dude, oh my dude, um, rich boy, like that was my fucking guilty pleasure to the hill. Yeah, I he was a love rich boy. Yeah, he was another one. I ain't even going front. Like he had uh, he had some he stuff. Changed, like, he, he changed interest. He was mediocre. He was mediocre, but. He kind of was, but he would, but but he would, he had some funky ass little songs though. Rich that boy got catchy. a reputation. Rich boy got a reputation. Yeah, I think it depends on where you from too. Ain't he from like? Yeah, I was just going to say like uh, locally, he got a reputation. Yeah. Well, of course, and he was he was really trapping. <laughs> like like most of these That's dudes a- really were. See, that's another thing I don't like, though. It's like, oh, well, you know, people people get this type of love and as far as, like, music. No, Rich, Rich Boy got, like, a, a Lloyd Banks type following. Oh, mm-hmm. man. That, too. Like, hardcore, hardcore fans. Yeah, some people like him like that. I mean, I'm not even going to lie. I would be in the car talking about, talking about Rich Boy selling crap. I would be saying those <laughs> things in the car. That shit was catchy as fuck. But part of it was that fucking um uh it was that it was that it was that damn switch sample. Yeah. You know how you feel about switch, Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. But then the other song he had out did pretty like that song was pretty lit too. I can't it was called Look at Here. Yeah, that I think that was the one. The fucking like trombones and shit on it. That shit was lit. I can't say I remember I can't say I remember that joke. I sent it to you when you got there. Yeah, right. shorty, shorty low was another one. Shorty low was another one that uh, oh, not shorty. That kind of, that kind of, <laughs> he he came in, he came and went, but like, but like, people, but people was like really, yeah, like when yo, yo, remember when he passed, passed away? Everybody came out the woodwork talking about how great he was. I'm like, hey, what? What was he great at? Here <laughs> that what? It's because it's because people always are gonna use um. Sorry, they're always gonna eulogize the dead. You know that, Aaron. It always happens. So, uh, nah, I, but they talk about his street reputation more so than his music. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. That's what, true. What, y'all remember that dude that was with um, Rough Riders that had that album called The uh, Dirtiest Thirstiest? Oh, Young One. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I don't remember from? Young One. Where, where was he from? Um, I want to say, uh, I want to say Mississippi. I don't know why. In that general area, he, he was alright though. That album was cool. I don't, see, now I you're talking like about it. real like trap it. shit. This is all real trap shit, and real trap shit is different than this shit. This auto tune garbage. Oh no, nah, he from he from he, he from, from Atlanta. Atlanta. He from Atlanta. Yeah, he from Atlanta. Yeah, see, see, that's my pro- that that's the issue is that the folks that we're naming right now, most of these people that we're naming, they're some real trap. That's real trap music, actual trap music. I don't know why we need a sub genre where we talk about drugs when we talked about drugs forever. Yeah. In, in, in every, like, I'm guessing that that's supposed to be the whole, um, it's a down south drug trade. So, you know, trapping is about the down south drug trade culture attached to it as opposed to, like, Setting you apart from a New York drug dealer or a LA drug dealer. I mean, do we really? So, 
So is it just called? Is it just called? Like is, <laughs> is it just called auto tune track because they throw the auto tune on it? But it's there. It's still very different. Yeah, that's because they doing the drug. They talking about doing them. <laughs> like every yeah. other, like y'all listen, y'all listen. But they're to, also uh, selling them though. They're they're still selling them though. Though oh ignoring the ten crack commandments. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they're getting high on their own fucking supply, dog. Yeah, that's not surprising yeah. considering considering Yo. how much they talk about how they don't respect big so. Look, you assholes, I need you to watch New Jack City, okay? Pay attention <laughs> to what happens to G Money, okay? G Money, Just man. Watch G Money. He came back for the base. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you, just, you can't fuck it, okay? Nino Brown shoots you, is what happens. He takes you up on the roof. He says, Am oh, I my, my brother's too. keeper? And he puts a bullet in you, dude. Okay? Just pay attention to that. Don't G-Money get high on your own supply. Just, he was smoking that glass pipe, man. Yep, smoking that glass dick. You can't, you can't fucking, you can't do your shit right when you do that. That shit ain't never been cool. I don't understand it. All right, back from lunch. That shit was bananas. <laughs> and I just, I just downloaded Young One's album. That's homework. Okay. I just downloaded Young One's album. Word. So we're on number two. Aaron, what's your number two? My number two. Um, <clears throat> this person is on my list because I didn't. Um, I realized at the last minute that um, you know, we were able to put like singers who actually rap on this list. <laughs> uh oh. And um, I feel like no, I feel like she uh, you know um, she she does. She does both. Well, she more. She's a lot better at singing. Oh, but it's part. Okay. <laughs> Are you gonna I'm tell, a, I'm gonna tell you what I'm talking about? I'm gonna tell you. I'm talking about Miss <laughs> uh, Estelle. Oh, okay. Estelle. Okay, sure. I've yeah. heard her bust a couple of rhymes here and there. Yeah. She does yeah, have but bars. She, she yeah, but bars. yeah, she got bars. But my thing is like, I'm not really into the whole um, UK rap scene. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So like a lot of times I get through because of that, and um, that was that was a lot of what threw me off of her like earlier in her career. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, you know, like y'all said, she does have bars, and you know, she's known like uh more so locally over there for that than she is over yeah. here. Yeah. I've actually heard that. Yeah. But um, I've, I've heard her talk about that. Before. Yeah. But like she, I think she like um, she does does both um pretty well and um she uh she stays true to like the culture as far as like you know um incorporating it in in both sides of what she does as far as rap and as far as singing like she had one of my one of my favorite songs from her is uh cold crush that's my shit right there um she get busy on that john and um the john the john with rick ross i like that song Hmm. Um, she she got a she got a couple different songs, but anybody who listens to um like her body her bodies of work bodies of work, um mm-hmm. you know just know that she dope she just overall dope. She really she is. delivers a mean hook too. Huh? She delivers a mean hook too. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, she can she can. I love I just love Estelle. Really yeah. really 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 love Estelle. Like she's just yeah she's she's really dope I love her love everything she does <laughs> um and what's your number two my number two I'm going with I I'm I'm hesitant because I want I might want to switch my one and two I'm just go ahead number two I got brother Ali okay cool cool yeah, I dig I dig brother Ali definitely got like a speech thing going on though true. And it's like almost consistent on well, almost every song that I heard at least. He got that same singy, songy flow. Give us some receipts there, Ant. Give us some what with the who now? Some receipts. Some receipts. More recently, um, he put out, well, more at least recently, I listened to Morning in America. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. was that was 2012. He got another drone that came out this year called All the Beauty in His World. I mean, All the Beauty in His Whole Life. Uh-huh. 
And there's a mixtape out there called The Bite Marked Heart. That was dope as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's a couple tracks on that, John. It's like um, a, a EP more, so it's like seven tracks on it. Mm-hmm. But it's fly. I like that, John. Yeah. Brother yeah. Ali raps his ass off, though. Yeah, he does. So that definitely qualifies. I like I just I just like the fact that he one of those artists um that like you know he uh he just like he keep it real like like human like he don't really like go right. go, go above and beyond to like put on his caricature you know what I'm saying he just exactly. like you know he just give exactly. you he just give you like you know his um Himself. his his life yeah he just give you his life on the record basically you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying mm-hmm. he's relatable yeah I like that I like that too I think that's a, it's always dope when you are yourself and you're not just again throwing spaghetti on the wall. Yeah. And brother Ali been around for a while that I know of. Yeah, he actually been around since like the mid '90s, but his career, according to what um I seen, didn't take off till like um 2000. The 2000s. The two thousands. Yeah. Yeah. They don't even got all his drums. They don't got all his drums on Google Music. They only got. The earliest joint they got is called Shadows on the Sun, which yeah. I never heard. The reason I know about Brother Ali is because of somebody else that's on um my other list uh is Immortal Technique. It was a song yeah. they did they um did together. Mm-hmm. I forget where I first crossed Brother Ali. It was it was a feature on somebody else joint though. Um, so that. my number two. My number two is uh, oh, Miller. and her name is Dana Elaine Owen. Uh-huh. We talked about her. <laughs> we did, and part of the reason why I like I picked Queen Latifah for all those who do not know Queen Latifah's government name. <laughs> um, her name is Dana Elaine Owens, and Queen Latifah. I picked her because. She's one of the first people, like rappers, that I really was tuning into who was singing her a hook to her song. Okay. And she like, like that shit was popping. Like, you know, she sang mm-hmm. like the hook to Wrath of My Madness. She sang the hook to Don't Make Me Wait. <laughs> Coming to my heart. Like she sang her, her, her hook. She sang Lady First. She sang... And she would just kind of drop in and sing a little bit and then, right. you know, but she mostly fit. However, Queen Latifah, and she sang like UNITY, she, she sings, she sings that hook. I don't, I don't know that many songs where she doesn't sing her own hook. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. See, that's what I'm, see, that's what I was talking about before. Though. I think, I think a lot of times like women just got away with it because they're women. Like you, like you yeah. don't really think you don't really think about it. Like oh, I didn't even think. About it. Yeah, I didn't even think about it. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh man. I still I can't get over the fact that he was in the Aaliyah song list. I, I didn't even get over the fact. I, I didn't even think about time. it until we started um, making this list. I didn't even think about it as far as like you know how much she really did Thank sing. You, like she sang like almost every song she has, she she basically is singing the hook on it. And she did both very well. She did, and she actually has a whole album where she's just singing called the Dana Owens album Dana that Owens came album, out. With, yeah. yeah, that came yeah. out in two thousand four, and she's like singing just jazz and like blues and stuff. Sanders, like she she does pretty good with it. Like she, you know. <laughs> So I mean, if you have a whole album where all you're doing is singing, mm-hmm. and you sing your hook, then I then you qualify as to me because I think she's better at it than Drake, personally. I think nobody would argue that. Um, I think most people would argue with that. Really? Yeah. Why? You know how many <laughs> Drake fans there are out there who would, who would argue that he's better at singing. Like 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 being a singing rapper than Queen Latifah is? Oh, tons oh, of them. Wow. Somebody yeah, I probably I mean, shouldn't be talking to. Oh, you know no, what that I'm is not though? That. Don't I talk think to that's them exactly I think that's because of what I think that's just because of what I just got done saying though, because like when you think of Queen Latifah, like you don't think like, oh, 
that she, yeah she does sing too like it's just like you know it's just like a natural transition yeah. when she does it mm-hmm. it's not mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying but when drake does it it's like oh he's singing one minute he rapping the next minute and yep. it's like it's, it's noticeable it's like obvious let's see like 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 most Duff does it all the time which he's banned from our list too and it's, you don't notice it it's like it's not even there it's just something i that's love happening. i love the new danger we all do, and that's the reason why he's not on our TV's band. <laughs> he would just be our number one, probably. And I already have a list that he's number yeah, one. Yeah, he would have been. So. Nah, he wouldn't have been. He wouldn't have been number one for me. He would have been my number Sacrilege. one or number two. Sacrilege. He would have been number one or number two. Wow. He wouldn't have been for number me? one for me. For me, one or two. Yeah, me too. Mm-hmm. Maybe three. Easily. Easily. Okay, number. Where's my drum roll? My drum roll no, I got a drum roll, damn it. <laughs> number one, Aaron. Come here, number one. My number <laughs> one is the Queen Latifah. Oh, yeah, oh, look that's at that. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so much list overlap. This is why we ban people. <laughs> so, next time we got a ban Queen. No. Nah. I don't think she was. That's what I'm saying. I don't think she was an obvious choice, though. I was actually. Well, I'm not. Actually I'm considered. not. I'm not surprised she was on uh, this Mitchell list, but I don't. Yeah. Like I said, like we talked about, I don't think she would have been on most people's list. No, you're right. Just because of the time frame, I guess. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That's a big. That's a big part of it. I'm interested to know who Miss Mitchell's number one is now because of that. Because um, <laughs> because as far as you know, what I'm saying because the, as far as. The, I can see it like you know I don't I don't really see like too many people like you know especially around that era outside of um Lauren Hill that I would put above her. Um, there's one person for me that I would put above her. So okay, Drum is it Mr. Flanders? Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, one. Ed. Yep. For me, I'm going to go, since you said I can put them on my list, I'm going to go ahead with Q-Tip at number Yay. one. Yay! I love Q-Tip at number one. Everybody, everybody should love <laughs> Besides the extensive legendary career with he also had a pretty good solo run. And that Kamala Abstract I listened to recently, and I actually enjoyed it. I stayed away, I stayed away from it when it first came out. I'm not even going to lie. Yeah, come on, the know. abstract is, is, you know, it definitely has its moments that yeah. shine, and it has some moments that are slightly dim. Um, but yeah, Kamal is a, aka, you know, Kamal Q Tip. <laughs> I think I think he could do another one. I wouldn't mind another one where he, where he, you know he does that. I hope he keeps making music. I hope he does. Yeah. <laughs> I, really I actually want to hear that. So did y'all hear okay. that? No, you know, you know who would have been on, you know who would have actually been on my list if he had like a um, like a maybe if he had a solo project or something. Who that? Who, who that? Who that? Who that? Um, uh, Trey Hardison. Really? Who that? Who that? Who that? Who that? From <laughs> Parsi. <laughs> From. Oh, yeah, okay. he can sing okay. though. Yeah, yeah, Trey is. Um, um, A.K. Okay, Slim Kid Trey. Yep. Um, he has a whole song, Other Fish. Yeah, that's my on, shit. On, that um, on Bizar- that's on Bizarre Ride. It's not on, it's not on Bizarre Ride, is it? I think yes, it, it is. is. Yeah. Okay, it's on Bizarre Ride, yeah. It, 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 it actually, it is. Because mm-hmm. it, comes, it comes right after Passing Me By. And it's all he does is like a thing. The whole thing is a song from singing. Yep, yep. He, he, you can tell he was, he was jamming on that show. <laughs> and let's and let's yeah, and let's not forget about let's not forget about she said on lab cabin. That's that shit. She said. Lab cabin weird. If you say with me, me too. That's that shit. Oh, so I granted her wish. <laughs> lab lab yeah, cabin weird. Lab was singing a lot. Let yo yo don't be talking about lab cabin. It was, it was where you gotta admit. <laughs> Yo, no. What I gotta admit is that was some of the dopest Dilla production ever. Ever. Yep. Was, but still, it was still, it was still like... <laughs> Do I want to say it was niche? No. It was just a continuation of what Far Side already was, though. 
That was it, hard yeah. it was a big like people. Like I've been I've been seeing recently like people talking about uh uh the video for uh drop uh -huh. being like one of the best hip hop videos. Cause of all Spike time. Jones directed it. Cause that's cause Spike Jones directed it. That's why. <laughs> you knew that, right? Who? Spike Jones directed it. That's why. Uh, oh no, nah, no, nah, I ain't know that. That's the reason why it was it was fucking great. Cause Spike Jones, the now famous movie director, directed that video. Yeah, everybody like re like in recent years, I've been seeing it too. Like everybody talking about like how you know what I'm saying like in hindsight like how great that video was, and I was just like, wow, that's you know. I, like yeah. you never like you know you don't pay attention to like stuff around the time but no well i mean we did everybody was on how <laughs> great that shit was at the time when it came out but if you weren't born until 1996 <laughs> then, <laughs> then maybe you're just or 2002 well, or whatever you know now you're just you're just saying this shit is dope well yes we knew that in 96 yeah. you know at the time but I mean, to, to answer Ant, because you're talking about it being niche. I mean, when their, their very first song that dropped, they were talking about how your mama had an afro and a chin strap. I don't know how... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how less niche get. Like, that's just... That was them. They were just like that. Mom's so fat. How, how fat, fat is, is she? <laughs> your mama is so big and fat that she can get busy with 32 burritos a time. Yo, I'll fuck with that joke. <laughs> that shit is fucking hilarious. She was beatboxing for a little wrong. <laughs> bright red, red boxing, boxing, girl. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> you said your mama's pretty young, but she's old and she's got old, hair, hair on her toes. Your mom's. They cut that job too. Okay, number one on my list. So I kind of cheated without cheating. Uh oh. -uh. Here we um, go. Number, <laughs> but I didn't really cheat because he wasn't banned. My number one is 3K himself. Oh, wow, really? You know what? Yeah. I kind of assumed we wasn't going to go there. <laughs> he wasn't banned from the list. All right. And and if I was going to make a list where, like, where it's Bone Thugs and Lauren and um, most deaf weren't banned, then Andre would be, like, number four. Gotcha. Andre has a whole fucking song where he's just singing and that became the biggest but like it took over everything like that whole album he's just singing shit mm -hmm. all on love below he's singing they always sang before that though too like Look, you know give me that clap emoji the love below is a fucking classic <laughs> yeah it is <laughs> but i mean he, he also sang like he fucking he hummed all over millennium millennium is my shit i just can't <laughs> These acts are definitely one of the greatest to ever do it. Yo. And he just he he goes his own way. He you know, and, and he he does it and you don't fuck who questioned it? Like not really. You just kinda go, oh okay. That's what three seconds doing second. now, I guess. <laughs> it took it me a second. I was like, hold up. We were like I was like, wait, what's going on here? <laughs> I didn't turn it off. I didn't All turn right. it off. I'm like, wait, what's going on here? You were like, okay, love below. Okay, I got you. Um, I oh, when I first heard him and sing Prototype, I was just like, oh. I was like, okay. Yeah. I hope that you're... But they were always doing this, though. Like yeah. they were always singing. Like he he sang the fucking hook for "Slum Beautiful." You know he had his moments where he was singing. And we weren't Sleepy really Boy. surprised by it. We weren't really surprised by nah, it. Nah, I mean Sleepy Sleepy Brown sings most of their hooks most of the time in the Dungeon Family Collective. Like he does a lot. Am I the only? It. Am I the only one that automatically thinks about Sleepy Brown when I think about Nate Dogg? Um, I, don't. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't. <laughs> I kind of put them in the same, same box. 
But you know what? I like this album. Um, did you guys get Sleepy Brown's album? I don't think I heard it. No. What? Didn't he pass away? No, yo. Dang, dang. No, no, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about, um, I'm thinking about, um, what's the name? The guy that plays Chef on South Park. Oh yeah, Isaac Hayes. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about Isaac Hayes. Yes, he's really. I always get them mixed up. I always get them mixed up. What? How? What? I'm sorry. Brown mixed up. Yeah. I do. I can't explain. They look, they look alike. <laughs> yeah. One of them is old and dead, and the other one is not. So the other one, the other one looks like him. <laughs> this is worse than the episode where I killed Salon Remy and he wasn't dead. <laughs> that was rough. That was bad. That was bad. Yeah, no. I'm sorry. Brown is My bad. Not bro. dead. Sleepy Brown is very <laughs> much alive. Oh man. He's he's 47, but he's Sorry, alive. Man. He's out there. He's, he's <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, I hate you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna run down his pedigree. Let's let's see. Okay, Sleepy Brown. Sleepy Brown is a one third of the Atlanta-based production team, Organized Noise. What is my criteria? What? Oh, What's that he my got talent. Criteria? Is he, he got, part of a production team? Uh, is, that all he, is that all he got for, going for him? That's all he got going for him? I mean, but he's, he's also got mad swagger. He, you know, he's got that deep, you know, like, when he starts singing, oh my God, what's that shit that he sings on the, uh, on the uh, fucking, um, on the Dungeon Family album? What, the first one on Soul Food? No, the Dungeon Family album. Oh, oh no, I'm talking. I'm thinking about the Goody Mob. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm talking about um, uh, even in darkness. Um, oh my God, the one he sings like right, not White Gut, although I fucking love that. Shit. Um, the <laughs> other one, the one where he's the, where it's all singing and Andre singing on that too. Um, oh my God, um, are you rolling? Down the same street that that. <laughs> I love when he sings on that song. That's my Sleepy shit. Brown. Sleepy, Sleepy Brown, Brown you know, yeah. He got credentials. He got, yo, I like the talented dude. I like the the the, the musically talented dude. So. Yeah. Yes, he got. Yes, he I got was fast. Um, he, even, he got some weird facial hair. I'm not, see, I'm not, I'm not like you, Aaron. I'm not like that. <laughs> I'm focused on his talent. I'm focused on his swagger, which he has in abundance. Okay. All I right. like that. You don't think he's talented? No, nah, he definitely is. I didn't say that. You know what? It's mad stuff. He just well, he, I hope he's winning. <laughs> Aaron is Aaron is a is a heterosexual, so I would hope he's not thinking about smashing Sleepy Brown. <laughs> he is he is heterosexual, but for all those who don't know, if you like Sleepy Brown, you know, run out and get his. He did have an album. It was pretty good. Um, the one I was like, it was called Mr. Brown. I knew that. Yep. Yeah. And it had can't um that song can't wait. Remember that song can't wait that had Andre and um. Oh yeah, yeah. On it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my shit. That was my yeah, shit. Yeah. It had you know it, it had that and the song with real called um called um margarita that was also on his album oh yeah i remember that joint too oh yeah i gotta listen to that because i i'm missing stuff i know that yep I know he has this this song um, oh yeah i do re i do remember this yep <laughs> see we 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 got too much music that we listen to we forget the shit that we know yeah like, ain't that <laughs> It is. You gotta go back through the archives every now and then. Yeah. I, the reason I reason I remember listening to this is because it was around the time I was um I was backtracking. I was listening to a uh, big get you in mind frame. I like that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
What happened with this kid, man? Why didn't he? Why didn't he get the attention he deserves? I feel like people have short attention spans. Yeah. That's sad. He got a couple drums. They say he got he got four albums according to uh, this uh, Stevie Brown. Um, to your legs are shaking. No, he's songs he's talking about, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, he does have four albums. Yeah, it's a sleepy. Hold on, the vinyl room, sex, drugs, and soul that came out twenty twelve. I actually have that one too. I just prefer Mr. Brown. I really like that album. Till Til your legs start shaking is like one of my favorite fucking songs. Like it's a really <laughs> sleazy, you know, R and B joint, but it's like <laughs> it's, it's nice. I like it. You know, pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna do recess and. For recess today, we're going to kind of break from tradition. Because. We got to talk about why uh, why we keep banning people from our list. <laughs> <laughs> Certain people are just so, that damn good. And like if you. So for the three people that we banned this week. We banned Lauren Hill for obvious fucking reasons. We banned um Bone Thugs and Harmony again for obvious reasons. And we banned most Duff because I mean they're like the three in this category that probably just knock everybody out of the park in this particular, you know, area that we're talking about. Uh I mean, what would your list have looked like, Aaron, if I didn't ban those three people? Uh-uh. Um, I mean, I probably, I probably would have put, as far as like number one, I probably would have put, um, I probably would have ended up putting um Lauren Hill over Queen Latifah, but that's about it. I don't think I would have put, I wouldn't have put Most Def over um Queen or a, uh, or a uh, like Bone Thugs. I mean, Bone Thugs is a group too. Like we were just like talking about like. Sing songy artists in general, right? Yeah, I, I would have put most would have been like number two for me, I think, instead of Brother Ali. Or, yeah. matter of fact, Isaiah Rashad wouldn't have been on my list. I definitely would have put all three of those people on my list, and then then uh, it would be Andre as number four, and then probably Dana is number five. <laughs> yeah. Most but definitely. I, but Bone Thugs, I know <laughs> that they're, the, I mean, it was kind of artist or group, but, because, like, Speech is a is one person in that collective. Yeah, he, right. He actually, speech is actually still part of Arrested Development. But, um, like, they're just, they're just better at that than, than every fucking body else that, you know, has attempted it. Like, they mastered it. That's part of the reason why we've seen all this shit, because they made they made the shit possible like look what we can do we can do this in hip hop and uh-huh. we can still call it hip hop just like speech just like but even like even more so than speech because bone thugs fucking took over like they just they were everywhere yeah they were yeah I but can, I can't even admit that shit now because like I was like I, I wasn't even feeling it back in you know I used to try to deny it back in the day and I would catch myself like in in the house like doing shit and I'd be like I miss my uncle Charles <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like damn <laughs> yeah but that's another reason why I'm not like I said before like I'm not necessarily um like mad when I hear people like um Chance and Kid Cudi and um, them do stuff like that because like that's their influences like they from the Midwest <clears throat> so like they um they definitely get those influences from uh Bone or whatever that's true but I mean they but remember we talking about the other week when we we're talking about this that shit a lot of it came from what you said it came from Nate Dog it came from the West Coast and their melodic treatment in in in, in the G Funk era. Yeah, because you wouldn't, because sure. because you have to have that as a jumping off point for you to do all, so you to fucking do all this damn singing. What are you singing over? Right. 
I mean, you could sing over some boom bap. It it doesn't it doesn't really sound like uh-huh. great, but <laughs> well, let's just say nobody's done it successfully yet. I mean, some people have sung over some boom bap, but I mean, you're not you're not gonna be bone thugs over some boom bap. I don't really see how that works. <laughs> that sounds funny. I mean, can you imagine? Bone Thugs being Bone Thugs with all that music dropped out and just them doing that over like just fucking funk drums and like right. maybe a horn here too. That's that it would sound weird a little bit. Bone Thugs up in there. Whoa, you just blew my mind. <laughs> Imagine them overstepping the arena. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. You know what though? That would probably work, yo. Yeah. <laughs> Some of that shit might work. Wait a minute. I would have challenged lay the all producers out there. Somebody lace me some. <laughs> <laughs> both of uh, both of uh, over stuff in the arena. Somebody, somebody put or like dump some bone thugs over like X to the next. Uh huh. <laughs> like I could, I, I could hear that right now. Like it would definitely work. That would be fly. That Wow. But I mean, okay, think about it. Can you imagine Bone Thugs over, say, like the fucking Nas's light beat? Kind of. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That's a little fast. I don't know. Depends on the song. I'm sticking with the fucking Primo theme. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know I don't, either. I don't know about that. Like, I can't I see them over. It got to it it be Jazzy. I see them over yeah. Moment of Truth. Really? Yeah. Hmm. It's a, this yeah. is a whole nother offset conversation. This is weird. <laughs> it really is. I feel, I feel like somebody out there who's a DJ is going to I think I'm going to just put bone dubs in a whole bunch of primo joints. Let's see uh-huh. how this shit works yeah. out. Yeah, that's just <laughs> that probably be fly. It might if you can make it, you know. I mean, you but you have to match melodies for yeah, that. You gotta have that ear. Yeah, you do. Yeah. What y'all think about diggable planes for the conversation? They're candidates. When did they sing? I mean, they got like melodic flows though. They do have melodic flows, but we ban melodic flow from this conversation. Did we? That's well, kind of why they. Because every why damn body and their mom got a melodic flow. They all be on the fucking list. That's kind of why I didn't mention Hollow or uh, DMX. And he's like, did it, did it, did it. <laughs> <laughs> DMX got that Baptist. He got that Baptist preach preach thing going on. He kind of does. And notice there is no Ja Rule or fucking Nelly on anyone's list. <laughs> well, we Don't said be favorite, coming at right? us. Yeah, we said favorite. Even and though every like thug, every thug needs a lady. Stop that! <laughs> right now. I don't know though. I happen to like a couple Ja Rule albums. I like some Ja Rule songs. That. I don't know I'm about a whole Ja Rule album. Say that. I'm gonna pretend Vinny, you did not Vinny, say Vinny, that. Vinny Vici was good. Oh, good. Oh, I never heard that before. Vinny 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 was good. I don't oh think I ever heard God. anybody say that out loud. Oh, Don't my listen God. to it. Don't listen to it. That's also homework. No! <laughs> Look, if you escape... Um, Anthony, if really? you escape the poison, you don't go back and drink it. Listen, yeah. Vinny 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 and that last joint he did. No. Are you, are you Ali? That joint no. was good, too. No. Day he suffered. Cool. He suffered a day. No, you early. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's so I'm, cool. gonna, I'm gonna admit <laughs> something right now. I'm gonna just admit it. I know this is horrible, everybody. I know it is. I own the Nelly suit album. Don't oh wow! This really? You didn't get sweat too? No, I didn't. Fuck you. You just said you like me. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. How you how you how you own that how you own that before a country grammar? I would have I, I, I don't I didn't That's come an by excellent it. Question. I did not buy it. 
that shit. Was like, one of my one of my kids left it around. Oh, they left it. <laughs> all right, all right. And, I, and I, it. I just and I no, I was looking to give it back to him. I didn't want that that album. I just <laughs> I wound up never being able to fi- find to give it back to them because they left it in my room, and then never came back to get it. it was like towards the end of the school year. I wound up with that shit in my collection. Like they didn't, they didn't want it either. <laughs> Apparently not. Ain't that a John? That's a John with Jaheem on it, and he'd be like, "Come on over to my place." Oh my god! Oh, god. Yeah, yeah, so wait, wait, did you listen to it? Yeah, of course I did. You know I did. <laughs> On the scale one to five, how was it? <laughs> Please let me do this. <laughs> What a five, what a five. Please don't make me do this. Please don't make me do Eric, this. Eric, can we get a drum roll, please? <laughs> Where's the drum roll at? Can we get a drum roll? <laughs> what a five. I'll of course it sucked. It was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> like, Come on, man. This shit was fucking booing. Do you think I like that shit? No. But really, Vinny Vitti Vici was really good, though. No. It really was. It really was. That's, Go back and listen. But that, that can't be possible. It's not possible that shit. <laughs> that's like one of his first CDs, if not the first. It doesn't was, matter was, what the there is. It he was untainted. Does. He was untainted. <laughs> There's no such thing. Trust me, no. trust me. Take my word. No. Listen to this. Listen to this. Anybody out there that happened to hear Ja Rule's Vinny Vinny Vinny? <laughs> no. All Comment on the, screaming, screaming Comment on the Twitter page, the it. Facebook page. Aaron, I got to be a tweet. I'm going to boost that, Joe. So anybody heard Vinny Vinny Vinny? Oh, oh Rate it one to five. <laughs> oh. All you have to fucking scream murder every two seconds on that album. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you had a couple Joe's on there. Yeah, a couple of and, Oh my god! Holla Holla is on that album. No, no. Let me pull no. that. You gotta admit, Holla Holla was pretty catchy. I no, like that. No, it's, no, it's and catchy. And it was side. It was side. I don't wasn't it side like of Rush it. Hour? It's, I, mm. it's not the Rush Hour. Is that supposed to make it, uh, it was make it better? <laughs> it's catchy. It just it didn't catch me. <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-uh. all of that shit just put me oh, off. Well, I mean, you guys know I didn't, I didn't particularly care for that that time period because it was like all of that candy beat shit where you like draw yeah. w- girls in with these cute little candy beat or Ja Rule singing about thug love or some shit. That shit was it's fucking just pandering. Those rainy it's days. Up. That shit was pandering <laughs> as fuck. I hated it. I hated all of it. <laughs> wait, wait! I got the joke pulled up. There's a couple drums on here that I like. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, we're like, not gonna tell nobody on this. Hold on, hold on. It was like, here you go, ladies. It was like, it was like, here you go, ladies. Here's some, here's some hip hop that you can sink your teeth into. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. Hip hop thug love. Here's some hip hop thug love. Let me. Or, or let me talk about street sweepers. You know, okay. Now let me talk about street sweepers and, and killing yeah. people to a little beat that you used to use to do double mm-hmm. dutch. Yeah, it, it definitely tried to. You know what I'm saying? I'm a thug. You know what I'm yeah. saying? My girl, she keep the gun between her thighs and all that. You know. Hey, yep, we're going down, down, <laughs> baby. Like we did that, we did that shit with our little hand games. That was the, our songs from our little hand games that we did as girls, and that's what they did. They they put that shit on that crap and to, mm-hmm. to fucking suck you in. Rubber band man. <laughs> and now and now that shit and now ain't we play with that like <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> oh man. It makes you think of people. kittens, doesn't it? It makes you think of fucking kittens. Kittens. <laughs> Every time he right. says that, it makes me think of a kitten, like playing peekaboo with you. Peekaboo? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How funny is that? That G Rat was like only a child would be entertained by peekaboo. Because he was and right, then and then he didn't even he didn't Blagos. even know that song existed. <laughs> it's actually a song called "People Fool." 
<laughs> he was like, what the, what? What the fuck? That's a little priceless. Oh, it man. was though. It was funny as fuck. So, so what, about, what, about 50, what about 50 Cent? What about him? Sing songy rapper? Would I smash? Nah, nah. No. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize we were still talking about that. No. <laughs> He's a handsome man. I, no. I don't like him as Kanan. I don't like him as Kanan on power, and he gets on my nerves. Uh oh, here come my, my boss, Mitch. He looks like a rabbit. He got a gorilla rabbit face. A rabbit. <laughs> He do. What the hell is a gorilla rabbit, though? It's, it's 50. <laughs> 50. <laughs> the fuck is a gorilla rabbit? <laughs> That's what he got going on, for real. Real shit. Some of y'all look like a gorilla rabbit. Hey, yo, yo, if 50 hears this shit, he gonna make a special <laughs> just for us. And he don't even know us like that. You know, you know how he gets to his feelings, man. I'm willing to bet money. That's not the first time he heard that. He's a cancer. He's petty as fuck. You know what they do. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a petty cancer, but, but he he'll do that shit every time. He'll be like, "What? I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not your wrong. Mom? And your I'm mom's wrong. dog. You call me a gorilla <laughs> rabbit. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> I'm not wrong, sis. Look in the mirror, bro. Especially with that do rag. He does sing some hooks, though, Aaron. He, he sings a lot of hooks. He, he, 50s, 50s, all right. But I'm saying, like, where would y'all place him among, like, those people? Like, he, I think he falls into the category uh, that we put Nelly and Ja Rule in, like, you know what I'm saying? Where I, would, I, would I think he can. Nelly, Ja Rule's lane, though. He, he can. He can fill that lane, but I don't put him in that lane. <laughs> 50, 50, I, like, think, I think he's a, a little bit better than that. Yeah, 50 gutter as shit. Ooh. Yeah, he definitely is gutter. And I'm, I need you to remember that he's gutter, and you probably should remember that before you called him a gorilla rabbit on the air. I'm just calling it like I see it. G rabbit. G rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> I just call it like I see it. Somebody Photoshop a picture of 50 from the Get Rich or Die Trying cover with rabbit ears and tell me I'm so wrong. Just, so basically what you all just did is the equivalent of when dudes call girls butterfaces. Like you just look at them butterfaces. <laughs> you say you got a You do realize, all right. He, like his, his body be banging. Like so from like the neck down, he's all built up and you just call him <laughs> a butterface is what you did. And dollar body with a 10 cent face. Look. Hey. Um, but I would not smash him because he hurts people's feelings all the time. That's what I don't really like about him. He's a bully. It's not. He is a, he is a bully. It's not about looks. It's because he bullies people. I don't have anything against 50 Cent's face. It's funny when he does it, though. <laughs> I really don't. So, it, it is. so homework. So um, homework next week. So we're excited because next week we're going to um, be getting into our month-long show dedicated to the origins of hip hop. We gotta give some applause. I want to go to Cedric Avenue. I don't know if we can do that before we tape those shows. Aaron, we should do a video. We should shoot a video there. We gotta go to the Bronx. And you know, hook it up. So next week, Ow. we're gonna start with the with the with the element of DJing. And the reason why we're doing that is because DJs created hip hop for That's all those song. little knuckleheads that don't know that out there. MC the is not MC <coughs> is not the cornerstone of hip hop. It's the DJ, sweetie. The so, golden Lego. So we start with the DJ. And we are going to be watching the documentary Hip Hop Evolution. If you have Netflix, watch Hip Hop Evolution for homework. And we also have a little children's book that we're reading. But if you don't know shit about the origins, it don't matter if it's a children's book to you. (laughs) (laughs) It's called DJ's A Children's Guide to the Origins of Hip Hop, The Five Elements of Hip Hop, Volume 1 by Lamont Clark. So, if you are foreign, which so many 
so many people are. The elements of hip hop, and you don't understand why there's so much emphasis on the DJ and what the DJ contributed to hip hop and what the DJ means to hip hop. You mm-hmm. need to get on all that shit, jump on that, and do your homework. I think there's a um, I think there's a compilation of each of those books. There is. You can get the one that's, that's called Knowledge. Yeah. I'm going to get that one. Which encompasses everything. So you really can do that. Yeah. By the same I'm guy, it's one. just, it's the fifth element. So people who don't know the, if you don't know the five elements of hip hop, I need you to stop telling people that you love hip hop. Just stop. Uh, don't tell anybody. That. I'm so glad that we're talking about knowledge is the fifth element. I've been saying that for years. Well, because cause people that know hip hop know it's true. Yeah, but they don't. They usually say the four elements. Well, most people do say four because knowledge is an abstract concept. So they kind of leave that one off because the other ones are things that are, are very. They're, they're more tangible. DJ, yeah. boy, graph art, and things are like very, very tangible. So knowledge is. There's actually also a law six component if you didn't know about that. And guess what, what? it is? Double Dutch. Dutch. <laughs> double Dutch. It's, it's double Dutch. It is double, double Dutch. Dutch. So there's actually six components to hip hop if you really look about it. Don't think That's about it. That's freaking fascinating. Isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. It really is. So yes. tune in next, all next month for your hip hop education. We're going to delve into this shit deeply. We're going to talk about the origin so that you don't have any excuse for not having source material to go to. There's so many documentaries out there to watch. Yeah. You know, and going to put some yeah. shit in, in the homework folder, right? Yeah. Yeah. Could I use yeah. YouTube for something other than, uh, you know, uh, uh, fight videos and, uh, oh, and um, twerk, twerk videos and... YouTube been, removing, YouTube, YouTube been removing all the twerk videos. <laughs> Good for you, YouTube. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know. Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> yeah, I think we know how you know. <laughs> You're stupid, Ed. <laughs> he was like, and all the Playboys were going off the show. Don't ask me how I know that. I just heard from a friend. A friend of a friend. <laughs> Tell me all the twerk videos were gone. <laughs> I can't really see all this fucking fighting, this infighting all over YouTube. This shit is annoying. It is. It is. All that negative energy. Especially in the black YouTube community. Like, I need y'all cut to it cut it out. Fucking cut it out. You know? Yeah. Like, this last, this, 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 these last few months. It's just been a lot with the YouTube. Everybody's been sent and set off every two seconds all the time. Yep. They're all watching each other's videos. Getting triggered, yeah. It's like they're white people. Huh? They're all Coco. <laughs> <laughs> Are they all trying to get a um a reality show hookup? <laughs> I mean, it, like. it seems like it. That's really? what it looks like. Cut that out. We better than that. We better than that. Apparently not. Happy folks. All they do is watch world star hip hop. Oh my god. And I thought we was boycotting know, that. Oh, I never watched world star hip hop a day in my fucking life. Me either. I refuse. They won't get any web traffic from me. Me either. I hear Aaron's silence speaking volumes to me. Nah, I'm just saying. They just like <laughs> they all they all over really though. Like they they like green light a, a lot of videos nowadays. So. That's true. Yeah. I don't I don't need to see black people cooning like fucking animals fighting each other. That shit is really fucking bottom basement for me. Yeah. It's, it, what's annoying to me is that when I tell people that I don't mess with stuff like world star hip hop, they like 
they don't see the issue. Like people that like when I tell them that they don't see the issue. They just like why? Like what's the you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like what's the like what's the big deal? I don't know if y'all had that. Like, yeah, I do too. But it's like, because they've been desensitized because people have become desensitized partially to that shit. Yeah. We've we've are we're now in an era in a culture where we think the lowest where, where we don't know the difference between high art and low. Yeah. Yeah, it's all just kind of falling in the same pot but for it's people. Not. That shit is real fucking low. It's disgusting. It's base. It's animal. It's the it's the lowest you can possibly go. Fighting in the fucking street with each other. That shit is low. All right. Some animalistic, it, you know, you it's some animalistic bullshit. And then you want to know why somebody keeps calling you an animal and treating you like one. You have to elevate above that kind of shit if you don't want somebody to keep calling you an animal. Unless you're a rich boy, because he's selling crack. So... (laughs) (laughs) Throw some cheese on it. (laughs) No, wait a minute. Kanye fucking remix to that shit. You you see how remember that Kanye remix to that song? Yeah. Yeah. Baby. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. He said, I got me a new white girl, and I threw some D's on it. Some, <sighs> some D-cups. Some D-cups <laughs> on it. I do remember that. Oh, God. And he got a video Y'all for see? it. The video was fucking crazy. Y'all seen Fat Kanye? We did see Fat Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> he looked happy than a motherfucker. <laughs> you know what? He did. He looked well fed, too. Uh huh. Kim must be catching be... on in the kitchen, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> it's all fast food. It's all fast food. Or he, or or, or perhaps he's like sneaking out to to uh, Roscoe's and just inhaling chicken and waffles at night, and nobody knows. He getting back in touch with his roots. <laughs> 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 he need well, you know what? He needs to get in touch with some of some of his some squats. I think maybe. <laughs> Look, cardio. I don't know. Kanye looks good, chunky. He wears I'm chunky. I'm not well. gonna like fat shame him, but <laughs> but but I need him to get a better wardrobe, even as a big person, because his clothes that he had on in those fat pictures. Yeah, it's he not helping. Wearing, he was, yeah, he was wearing a dad shirt. Yeah. Like that that dad <laughs> shirt just. <was, laughs> <laughs> it, it, it probably, paid, like, uh-uh. probably paid thousands of dollars for it. I don't care. It's a fucking. What if that wasn't even Kanye? It was just a lookalike. No, nah, that was Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> that was Kanye. Yeah, he reminded me of the. He reminded me of the boy from the Wire. He uh, reminded huh? me of this dude I saw one time in McDonald's eating McRib. <laughs> <laughs> Kanye gonna be another one. He gonna be another one of them producers that decide he wanna start working out and gain some weight like Timberland and Dre. Oh just, no, please just don't. Blaze. He's gonna be another one of them. Watch. I haven't seen Justin Blaze in in his swole. Really? Yeah, it's it's it seemed to be a trend. It seemed to be something that's like that, that's a, that's trendy now for like producers behind the scenes. They just like start working out all of a sudden. I've, I have not seen Just Blaze buff. Like this is news to me. No, he not he not like he not swole like in like the same sense as like uh, Dre or um, Timberland. But okay, he definitely. Uh, wow. He well, he def- lost some he weight in the pictures. Oh yeah, he's definitely lost some weight in the pictures I'm looking at. He's definitely slimmed down, but he's not. Dre has guns. Like I'm, I'm actually afraid. I think Dre did that just in case Suge Knight gets out. <laughs> I think he just anticipated, you know, it, it should get out. I'm gonna have to be able to do what I need to do. Uh, I ain't mad at that. I'm not mad at you. Do your thing, Dre. Okay, whatever, whatever Suge gets from you. He he had that shit coming, and I'm not even gonna. I'm I'm gonna look the other way like I ain't see it. Is she getting out? I doubt it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I don't think so. He gotta have a I, fantastic lawyer. 
Uh, he ran that. He ran dude over. He really did. On tape. Well, on film. It, it, yeah, he killed him. So, I, I yeah, no, I'm gonna say no. I don't think he's getting out. I really don't. Is it bad you, for me to say I hope not? Is it bad you for me to say I hope not? No, he belongs there. <laughs> yeah. Which I can Cue safely it. say because Suge is because Suge <laughs> is behind bars, so I can safely say that. For now. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what? We don't even give Suge the in, in, impending doom button, do we? He deserves it. Okay. I mean, no, I mean, he, he definitely <laughs> deserves it. Oh yeah, he is on the other side of that, isn't he? Yeah, he is. And yep. he allegedly killed Easy. Allegedly. You know what? I don't. I don't believe it either. <laughs> I don't know about that one. That's just that line know. with that line in the movie was so corny. Don't yeah. make me change you, Easy. What that? What was that for to me? <laughs> Really? That's what he said? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Why you oh, say I didn't like say that. You know <laughs> so much shit was fabricated and straight out of Compton and it's not even funny. Yeah, like, right. like, 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 where's the fucking paintball story? They dramatized it. There was no paintball story. I, I don't think there were even paintball guns. It was them on the ground. That's, you know, and then all of a sudden, fuck the police come. <laughs> <laughs> so um that's the show and Aaron gets antsy when I don't do the sign up so school is officially out ladies and gentlemen 